Take a stroll through Mission Hills. You will experience many of San Diego's most stunning homes and, of course, spectacular views. Mission Hills also has a rich history, and News 8's Richard Allen explores this architectural marvel of a community both then and now. From the quaint craftsmen's to the beautiful bungalows to the Spanish revivals, along with breathtaking views, Mission Hills is one of San Diego's most historic and well-preserved neighborhoods. The Living Museum. Capturing old California charm, which New Zaid captured in the 1970s and 80s, a small town feel that persists through today. Do you want to go back and see the chickens? Sure. Sometimes you forget you're in the city at all. Come on, ladies. Yeah, say good morning. Tony Palafox is one of the owners of Mission Hills Nursery, just the third family over more than a century to run the neighborhood's oldest business, started in 1910 by renowned botanist Kate Sessions. It's humbling. Famous as the mother of Balboa Park, Sessions also helped put Mission Hills on the map. When you look at the pictures, there was nothing here. Convincing the city to extend trolley service out to Mission Hills, connecting it to the growing region. Definitely she was pioneering, not afraid to go out and go after what she wanted. The history goes back even further. In 1869, steamship captain Henry Johnston purchased 65 acres of land here above San Diego Bay, which would eventually become Mission Hills. The purchase price for those 65 acres more than a century and a half ago, $16.25. <laughs> Four decades later, Johnston's grandson subdivided the land, dubbing it Inspiration Heights, while at the same time, businessman George Marston oversaw the development of adjoining land. Instead of making it Marston, uh -huh. he said Mission Hills. Its yeah. proximity to the first mission made it special. Historian Janet O'Day literally wrote the book on Mission Hills, along with her husband, Alan Hazard. It was a matter of timing. At the same time, San Diego announced it would be hosting the Panama, California Exposition, drawing builders and artisans from throughout the country to San Diego and to Mission Hill's empty parcels of land. The fuse was lit and the building boom started. Part of the community's unique charm is that the development follows the natural landscape. And so the streets in Mission Hills, you'll notice, are all curvy. Among the standout homes, Villa Orizaba, the first home built here, and the Guyman House, which served as the civil defense headquarters during World War II, as well as the home where J. Ned Guyman Cassidy grew up. News 8 spoke with J. Ned back in 1986. I still see some of the old ladies that I thought were old when I was growing up. They were probably my age now. And here is J. Ned today. We must age gracefully. Yes. She says over the past 35 years, the advent of social media from next door to meetup groups has helped bring the community together. I think the neighborhood is probably closer today than it used to be. There isn't much left to build on in Mission Hills. It's pretty well built out. Or I wouldn't be doing this interview if I thought I was going to bring people into Mission Hills. It's like, no, keep them out. And while it may appear that much of Mission Hills has remained the same over the years. Oh, I love Mission Hills. I feel like I've died and gone to heaven. There has been change, especially when it comes to businesses. Gone is Ron Kiefer's beloved grocery spotlighted back in the 80s, now replaced by a yoga studio. While institutions like the Huddle Restaurant remain, and new spots are constantly popping up. Have you heard? He's coming from Naples. Like Meshuggah Shack, where you can get your espresso with a side of opera. And as Mission Hills heads into the future, the mission to preserve its past is even more pressing. Once it's wiped out, it's gone. And in this case, it's literally buried. Including the grave markers at Pioneer Park, which is still the resting place for thousands of San Diegans. It'd be great to have an acknowledgement that this wonderful park also is the burial grounds for our city founders. And aside from the spectacular homes here, it is the people that makes this community special. Probably the best thing is the neighbors. The neighbors are all terrific people. So I hope that that never changes. And I think that legacy can be carried on to future generations.